Hi, fifth graders. So we are going to keep going with order of operations today. Um, we're going to work on some more difficult problems. And then next week, we're going to work on some real world problems where you would actually um, use the order of operations. So we focused a lot on parentheses on Monday and Tuesday, and that's going to come into play in these problems as well. So our first example problem is going to be three squared times five, you'll notice that these are in parentheses, plus parentheses seven minus two. So something I don't know that I stressed a lot in the first video from Monday is that um, we're still gonna work from left to right, just like we would if we were reading a book. So we're gonna solve what's in this parentheses first. So within my parentheses, I notice that there's an exponent and that's my next step is to find that exponent. So I know that three squared is also three times three, not three times two, it's three times three and I get nine. So I'd have nine times five plus seven minus two. I'm still working on solving inside this parentheses. I know that nine times five is 45. Now I can finish out the, write down the problem from above, seven minus two. Now I can solve for inside this parentheses. So I've got seven minus two, I know is five. 45 plus five equals 50. So it's easiest if we break it down step by step and we don't try to solve it all um, just in one step of a problem. We wanna do multiple steps. So let's try another one together. Let's have it look like, let's do six times two times three divided by 17 minus 11. So something that you probably learned last year in fourth grade, but can be difficult to remember sometimes is that um, if I have a number that is directly next to a parentheses, that's also like saying it's six times whatever is in the parentheses. So if it helps you to take that extra step and write that out, um, please do so. So I've got six times two times three. Well, I've got to work in my parentheses first, so I know that two times three is six. So I have six times six, divided by what's in the parentheses here. I know that 17 minus 11 is six. I've got a lot of sixes here. So I can just work, oops, I don't even need these parentheses here. Now is a time where I would just work left to right. So I'm gonna do six times six is 64. 64 divided by six is six. Let's do one more problem together here. Let's do 17, we'll do a parenthesis, 17 plus five squared times two divided by four. So I need to work within my parentheses first. And within my parentheses, I see that there's an exponent. So I have to solve that first. So I'm gonna solve 17 plus 25 because I know that five squared is also five times five, which equals 25, times two divided by four. So 17 plus 25, we're gonna get 42, times two divided by four. Again, I'm gonna work left to right here. Um, we talked about in the first video that Multiplication and division can be swapped around, and addition and subtraction can also be flip-flopped. It just depends on if you read it from left to right. So if this had said 42 divided by two times four, I would still solve left to right, even though the division sign comes before the multiplication. So we're gonna solve this one though. So I've got 42 times two is 84 
84 divided by 4 equals 21. So once you're left with the same signs in a grouping, you could call it, you can just move from left to right. 